Hey, so I wanted to uh, kind of re-record the last video that I made. I realized that it wasn't very good quality. Um, this guy is moving fast. So in the last video, what I wanted to do was to use the Steam Deck's microphone um, just to show what it would be like if you know you were to play like in a raid or something on the Steam Deck, for instance. Uh, that's not telling me to dispel. That's what you're gonna be happy about this. Oh, that's attacking me. Well, this uh, is starting out well. Um, yeah, basically, the the last video was not very good quality. So one of the things I noticed was, uh, so when I play on the Steam Deck in game mode, I put it on one, so graphics setting one, just to sort of make it as as fast as possible as I possibly can. And that looked pretty bad um, in the last video. Like it was not. It was hard to read things. The the, the, the text was bad. The graphics looked awful. Um, so, and that was on 1080. So I've done it again, and for some reason with this restart, it looks much better. So I don't know if that's some kind of inconsistency with the Steam Deck or just you know an error on my part for how the graphics were configured, but. The, you can probably tell from this video and a lot of other videos that the game looks much better like this. Uh, so I am playing uh, in docked mode, in a dock in desktop mode. Uh, I have the settings on one. Let's see. So graphic settings one, very low quality, everything. Uh, everything disabled, basically. And this is running really well. So I'm not sure if the mic's picking it up, but. The Steam Deck fan is, you know, pumping pretty hard, and the the back of the Steam Deck is pretty hot, um, quite a bit hotter than it is when I play games, just laying in bed in, in handheld mode. Not to say that you know it's like breaking the Steam Deck or anything, but uh, I'm sure that Valve has added some kind of shut off or or something if if the deck gets too hot. So yeah, you can absolutely do dungeons. Uh, if this was a Mythic Plus, it'd be you know, exactly the same performance. I plan on uh, showing a raid. I'm not in a guild right now. I could do like LFR or get into a pug or something. Um, but that'd be a good video to show in a raid. The purpose of this video is basically to show that if you wanted to bring your Steam Deck uh, on vacation and you, like say we're in a serious guild and you wanted to use a mouse and keyboard and do progression or something like that, you could absolutely do that on the Steam Deck. And uh, that's what this video is intended to show. You obviously would need a mouse and keyboard and ideally you would have a monitor, but you could do exactly what I'm doing on the Steam Deck screen, just in desktop mode with mouse and keyboard. Uh, obviously this is in addition to all the stuff you could do in game mode. Watch my other videos if you're interested about the what WoW is like on the in game mode that's you know my main goal for this channel is to make that as cool as possible um, just Heretics. be able you to dungeon heal for this interruption. I don't understand how these ca I, I actually hate cataclysm dungeons I think that they're, they're not fun at all um, I need to block this and make sure that I don't get a hundred stacks or something like that I don't know why this stack count looks doubled do I have 30 stacks or 14 stacks yeah, this is running very well. There's a lot of stuff power. happening at the same time right now. And, uh, I'm not having any the frame issues or anything like that. Obviously, we're losing the frame rate count um, because we're not in game mode. Usually, the frame rate count right there in the upper left. Uh, in desktop mode, you know, there's probably some way to get that. It's just a Linux computer. This, I'm, this is, should I lust? I'm gonna decide if I should lust. I'm gonna pop into show guidance. I think this tank is a little bit more YOLO than I was interested in for this morning. So this is playing on a 1440p monitor. I'm not sure how that changes the uh, taxing on the Steam Deck. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this guy, I think. Yep. Okay. But uh, it, it's it's highly possible. I don't know how I open that over. It's highly possible that this would be even better on just a regular 1080p monitor. Or ideally, uh, if you could, I don't even know if they sell them anymore. But 
a 720p monitor uh, would that's you know basically the native resolution of the Steam Deck. Uh, if there was some way to, I know they have portable monitors that are 720p, but you probably the purposes of this video is not to say like oh you should buy a bunch of extra stuff just specifically to facilitate. This tank is like not good, I think. Can you please get that, bro? Jeez. Um, but yeah, that would obviously be, if you were just going on pure performance, that would probably be the best way to go is to have a 720p monitor. But this is on a 1440p monitor. It's running at 1080p resolution. And I've had, you know, zero issues with the, you know, frame rate performance. Uh, hopefully you can, I have a mic plugged in. I have a, Yet, a Yeti, uh, blue Yeti mic plugged in. So that's about the fidelity of the audio you get with this. The last video I made was just using the Steam Deck's audio, and you know I'm not the loudest speaker in the world, but uh, it's pretty bad. Um, you really couldn't understand what I was saying over the game sound. Now, if you were on Discord and all you, oh, this boss is going to be terrible with this tank. Hmm. I'm just I think he has to go through that fire, fire thing. All I can do is heal. That's fine. Oh, there's a few guys again. He's... Okay, this is going to be a little bit rough. I'm just going to pop the guns. Let's just do this. <laughs> okay. Let's go. This is bad. This tank is making it hard for me to narrate, huh? Yeah, this is not gonna work. Oh, I don't have my markers set up on. I have a way to put, uh, you know, raid markers on my on my uh, PC. I did. I kind of just set this up quick and fast, which is actually a good demonstration. Like, I set up this UI in I don't know, 15 minutes. Like, basically, I got LVR, obviously. Put our shirt on this guy. You're killing me, man. This tank is uh, really making my life hard in this random cataclysm heroic. Jeez. Uh, but this was very easy to set up. Like, the, the hardest part of the whole thing is getting Battle Mad as a non Steam on, on Steam. So, effectively, what's going on is. The Steam Deck uses a compatibility layer to play uh, Windows games on on Linux, uh, and that compatibility layer is called Proton. So, basically, uh, well, I'm not an expert on it, but there are limitations with with Proton. And so, what some people have done who are enthusiasts, this guy's gonna die. I don't have a. We're in combat, so uh, the people who are Linux enthusiasts, they have made an open source version with with tweaks to uh, Proton called GE Proton. I think that's basically what's going on with the GE Proton project. Man, this tank is just really making it as hard as possible to do this dungeon. Huh? Come on, man. Let me res. So, you have to, you, you can't run Battle.net with the regular version of Proton that, you know, just ships with the Steam Deck. I think as of, the, as of right now, uh, May 2023, that version is uh, Proton 8 point something, you know, roughly Proton 8. You need GE Proton. I don't really remember what the acronym GE stands for, but that is the open source Proton that I'm referring to. Uh, that allows you to run Battle.net. I'm not exactly sure what the limitations are uh, of the you know vanilla stock uh, Proton that doesn't allow you to run Battle.net, but you do need you do need GE Proton. Uh, once you get that set up, it's very easy. the The only problem after that is every time that you st this is a known issue by the way. Every time that you start Battle.net uh, on the Steam Deck, it's going to say that it's updating your World of Warcraft client. 
that's pretty annoying. It, it, you know, it takes longer to start this game than all the other games. But it's not, you know, some enormous amount of time. It's you know, another 30 seconds roughly than it would take to start uh, Steam game on the Steam Deck. But other than that, you know, if you want to play in desktop mode, you, you just have basically have a $400 gaming PC. And, you know, you're staring at the performance right now. If this is something that, if this is the type of performance that's acceptable to you, it certainly is to me, uh, then I wouldn't even consider buying like a gaming laptop. Or even if you wanted to build a gaming PC for 400 bucks, I don't know how great that PC would be. Like, it wouldn't, it certainly wouldn't have all the other cool stuff that the Steam Deck does have. <coughs> So you know, it, it's it's a, it's up to everybody who what their needs are. But but I know for me, uh, I mostly play World of Warcraft. If you wanted to play, you know, the most cutting edge game, you wanted to play the new uh, Dead Space and Ultra Graphics. Like obviously, this is not going to do it. But people are playing all those games in handheld mode on the Steam Deck. Uh, you know, God of War, the Horizon Zero Dawn, big expensive. Uh, rapidly expensive games that are hard to run on PCs, they are playing those in game mode on the Steam Deck. So, uh, this is a demonstration of how it works. If you wanted it as a dedicated gaming PC, I'm obviously recording this in OBS. I'm using a Yeti microphone for the audio input capture, and I'm running this at 1080p on a 1440 monitor. Uh, and it, you know, this was very good. I, I think that uh, you could absolutely bring this if you were out of town and you had a raid group uh, and you just plug in a keyboard and mouse, you can uh, use the Steam Deck's native screen and, and do exactly what I just did. Maybe that'll be my next video. Maybe I will record a video like this, keyboard and mouse, uh, but on the Steam Deck screen and I'll play while looking at the Steam Deck screen with keyboard and mouse and I'll report back what my experience was. But, you know, hope you liked this video. Let me know if you want to see any other demonstrations or something uh, because uh, you know I don't have that many viewers and I'd, I'd be interested in just uh, making more content that people like to see